without offending. So now my mouth is in the jailhouse with cases pending. First Amendment, you replaced it, rigged it, dubbed it down. It's not an option. Some of it I understand. Take the power from me. SMT Nation, we back. Nation, we're testing the Verizon 5G home internet. The plan is the uh, Plus home internet, and the gateway we're using is the LV65. I just got this thing. I did some main level testing, and now we're going to be testing the lower level. What we're going to do is we're going to be testing the home internet antenna and gateway setup versus on-device data, and I'm testing here in the lower level of the SMT HQ. The reason why I want to do it this way is I want to compare, you know, the two connections to see how much does this antenna actually help. All right, so we got 98 down and 50, 15 megabits per second uplink. You saw we were kind of on the edge of 5G ultra wideband, kind of sort of working in the lower level, right? It's kind of in and out, you know, not super reliable. It's, it's basically edge cell for a frequency, you know, like 3,700 megahertz, okay? Let's do a second test. Let's make sure it's real. What we're getting is consistent. All right, now this time, I don't know how long we were able to hang on to 5G Ultra Wideband, but we got like 88 down and three up. So, you know, maybe if I was in a different part of the lower level, it'd get better throughput. Uh, but the signal down here for a mid-band channel, a lot tougher to get if you were on the main floor or the upper level. Let's go ahead and test fast.com. The reason I want to test this, I want to see what it's like for video resolution. All right, so how much can you get on the mobile device? All right, so you'll see Fast.com gave me about 110, 120 megabits. Uh, I do have the 2017 Verizon Unlimited plan, uh, which also uh, I have the $10 5G ultra wideband add-on with the HD video. So, I, you know, that, that little add-on, you know, gets me the access to those things. So that's why you see the Fast.com, you know, is, is unthrottled along with the connection, right? The fact that I'm connected to... Nationwide 5G in my market, I still get unthrottled, right? So it's kind of cool. Uh, you'll see we're connected now to the Wi-Fi, and we're going to compare the throughputs, the signal quality on the the Verizon 5G home internet, right? Really, what we want to see is, you know, having, you know, the dedicated hardware, the actual antenna, to kind of receive the signal and then amplify it and, and just create a better quality signal, stronger signal cleaner signal, you get more throughput. And you'll see here on the test, it helps. Okay, we're definitely connected to 5G ultra wideband on the gateway, getting about 213 down, and we're getting about 15 or 16 megabits up. You'll see that I just set them down. I didn't put it up in the window. Uh, that probably would uh, really be a game changer. That would probably get us a full signal. I'd expect you know similar speeds to what we see you know, on the main floor. Uh, maybe even better because it's up against the window. So, you know, 213 down, 14 up. Clearly having that external hardware makes a difference, right? Bigger antennas, bigger gain, you know, enhanced signal. Okay, here's a second test, 145 down, about 8.5 up. Not seeing any packet loss, that's good. Uh, but compared to the upper level, you'll see that we did lose some throughput, and that makes sense. The signal is weaker. Uh, the signal is not as strong. Not as clean, there's probably more noise, and it shows itself in the throughput. So that's kind of what I wanted to show you guys. It clearly does make a difference. You know, if you had your choice between the different Verizon gateways, having that extra antenna, that 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 receiver as they call it, is a difference maker, and it would be a huge boost for a lot of people. And just to keep you guys in the in the loop on this, right? Um, I purchased this the day before they changed all the terms. So I'm getting 400 plus megabits per second on the downlink, 40 plus megabits on the uplink in different parts of the home. I've been testing. It's probably going to end up somewhere in my family's home. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to give it to, but they can enjoy it. It's got a two or three year price lock, but stay tuned for more coverage. Uh, I've got the upper level testing and then the outdoor testing. So keep it locked. Keep it tuned to the SMT. Like, share, and subscribe for more. And then comment down below if you have any questions on this gateway, what else you want to see uh, from the SMT. And maybe you've been using it. You can make some comments as well. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe for more. And uh, don't forget to turn on the bell notification.